Another story, me and the cutting machine, another real honest talk, today was a tough day, again with problems. This episode is called, When Shit Happen on Your Working Shift. And some facts about owning an industrial business. I wrote this episode as a lesson to remember the today October 15th life fact. Nothing special since the day started, just Friday, the machine I was working on was cutting smoothly, and at 12 in the middle of the day, bam, she burned out from inside out, the machine started an inside fire, burning plastic smells and white smoke in matter of seconds. Another problem that happened on my working shift, meanwhile I was working and guarding the machine. Shit happens is a common vulgar slang phrase that is used as a simple existential observation that life is full of unpredictable events, another thousands of dollars loss, in a few seconds. I feel miserable in many ways, even if it is not my fault, it is not the first time it happens a problem with the machine where I work. My mind is empty, no emotions, no thoughts, I feel like I have a protective balloon around me. Monday will be a stressful day but I have the weekend to think my next moves, talks with my employer, and decisions, maybe quit if it necessary. It is a money loss for the company, I know, a sorry is not enough, I was there, my colleagues are witnesses, nobody wants to make trouble, losses, or delays. We want just to work, make some money and go home, but things happen to grow to change rules, laws, and circumstances. Problems appear to learn lessons, to improve the system, and take new decisions to save somehow money in the future. From my last problems with this machine, some decisions were taken and money were saved in other ways, optimize the work process. Many times I ask myself, if I had back luck, and why so many times, as some colleagues say, Problems appear only on my working shift, even if 90% of the time, only I work on this old cutting machine. And the fact that last week I had a night dream with the machine from work in white smoke, and burning. A sign from God, for certain, I am a believer, I have faith and I pray every day to God to help me and protect me from problems, working accidents and other things that could happen, and now this happened. I also pray for wisdom, to remain calm and have peace, to remain silent and humble in every situation. Everything happened for a reason, somehow, is probably part of evolution of everyone involved, me, the company, an upgrade and repair were needed to the machine, new decisions must be taken and rethink how the working system and shifts work. Plus two other problems with two other machines and working materials, in a time frame of three hours. What a day for my boss. This is the reason why the stress and decision making and problem solving of my boss worth the millions he made until now. I talk with people, working colleagues, family members and we agree that the majority wants the money, but not the responsibility, the stress or the ugly truth, yes, the work after work, some remain to work to plan and think and we the employees are at home with our family and free of problems. We just have to manage and spend wisely our salary, and show at work, other people solve the so-called, what we will work issue. All the workers, suppliers, customers, relation with authorities, own family, manage own personal life, costs, economic changes, daily problems, new taxes, and so on. And you cannot just give up, you have contracts, terms, the cash flow river that must have fresh water to have fish. All these things are like an umbrella that some people carry in sunny days, weekends, holidays, and when they go to sleep every night. Why I wrote this text, because times are getting to an end in terms of working conditions, working principles and working relation with employer with employees what we expect from work. The working place we choose to stay more hours in a day, than in our own home, we spend more time with colleagues, than with our family, things are changing. And the mind thought that obsess me, what can I work paid per hour, what can I create and sell, offer, 
and make money using the multiplication factor. Not to be one to one paid, or paid per service, or paid to work. What to work from home, and the most important and hard thing to do, to change the mindset from robot, daily routine, to freedom, freedom on choice in life, more free days, and a better quality of life, even with less money. God help you make the change you need in life.